this is Jay Kalpana here. So in this video we are going to see two problems from circles. So let's get started problem. Find the equations of circles with center C and radius R where. So we are going to solve these two problems, right? We are given center and radius. So using center and radius, we need to find the equations of circles, right? So for that, we are going to use the formula. The equation of circle with center C, H, K and radius R is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. Right? Here, we'll be using a plus b whole square, a minus b whole square formulas. Okay? You know that a plus b whole square equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab. And a minus b whole square equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab. Right? So let's start with the first one. We are given c origin 0, 0 is nothing but origin. So the center is located at origin. Right? And we are given radius r equals to 9. So here we are going to use the formula. So let's consider it as 1. We are given origin, right? So we have H and K and R values. Now substitute H, K and R values in 1. We get x minus h is 0 whole square plus y minus k is 0 whole square equals to r square that is 9 square. So we will get x minus 0 is x, x square plus y square equals to 9 square, 9 nines are 81. So now take this 81 to left hand side. So you could write this as x square plus y square minus 81 equals to 0. So this is the required equation, right? So let's verify the answer. If we compare this equation, x square plus y square minus 81 equals to 0 with x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 by comparing the quotient of x, y and by comparing constants or by equating quotient of x and y and constants we will get 2g equals to here you don't have any quotient of x or y right we have only x square y square and the constant term right so we will get 2g equals to 0 since you don't have any Quotient of x or x and y terms here or otherwise we could write it as x square plus y square plus 0 into x plus 0 into y minus 81 equals to 0. It would be easy, right? So 2g equals to 0, 2f equals to 0 and c equals to minus 81. So from this we will get g equals to 0 by 2, 0 by anything is 0 and f equals to 0 by 2 which is equals to 0, right? So from this you can find center is equals to minus g comma minus f. Okay, simply you will get c. 0 comma 0 origin right so let's find r 
which is equal to square root of g square plus f square minus c. So now we can substitute g, f and c 0 plus 0 minus of minus 81. This equals to square root of minus into minus plus 81. Square root of 81 is 9. Okay. So, our answer is correct. Therefore, x square plus y square minus 81 equals to 0 is the required or is the equation of the required circuit. Okay. Now secondly we will find second problem. Fine. We are given C that is center equals to cos alpha, sin alpha and radius equals to 1. Now substituting or substitute H, K and R values in 1. This is your H and this is your K. Okay. Yet, X minus H is cos alpha whole square plus Y minus K. K is sin alpha whole square equals to R square. That is 1 square which is equals to 1. So, for the two terms, you can apply A minus B whole square formula. And you could write it as x square plus cos alpha whole square is cos square alpha minus 2 into cos alpha into x plus y square plus sin alpha whole square is sin square alpha plus 2 into y into sin alpha. You could write it as 2 sin alpha minus, sorry. Minus 2 sin alpha into y equals to 1. Again, you could write it as x square plus y square minus 2 cos alpha into x minus 2 sin alpha into y plus sin square alpha plus cos square alpha. Now take this 1 to left hand side, you will get minus 1 equals to 0. Since we know that sin square alpha plus cos square alpha or sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. Right? So this becomes 1. Fine. So you could write it as. x square plus y square minus 2 cos alpha into x minus 2 sin alpha into y plus 1 the value of sin square alpha plus cos square alpha is 1 right minus 1 equals to 0 so here you can cancel plus 1 and minus 1 again you could write it as x square plus y square minus 2 cos alpha into x minus 2 sin alpha into y equals to 0. So, this is a required circle equation. Now, we will verify the answer. Now, compare this equation with the general circle equation x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. Okay, now equate the quotient of x. You'll get 2g equals to minus 2 cos alpha 
and equate the quotient of y, you'll get 2f equals to minus 2 sin alpha and the value of c, that is by equating constants, you'll get c equals to 0. Okay? So from this, you'll get g equals to minus 2 cos alpha by 2, which is equals to minus cos alpha and f equals to minus 2 sin alpha by 2, which is equals to minus 2 sin, not 2, minus sin alpha. Okay? So let's find circle and, not circle, center of the circle and radius. The formula for finding center is ordered by minus, L, minus g comma minus f. So we get minus of g is minus cos alpha comma minus of f. f is minus sin alpha. This is equals to minus into minus plus cos alpha minus into minus plus sin alpha which is your center, right? So you got the center. Now let's find radius. You're having formula for radius r equals to square root of g square plus f square minus c which is equals to square root of g is minus cos alpha, right? Minus cos alpha whole square is cos square alpha plus f square that is minus sine alpha whole square is sine square alpha minus c. You are having the value of c is 0. So this equals to square root of sine square alpha plus cos square alpha. Since we know that sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1, right? So, this is equals to square root of 1, which is equals to 1, which is your radius. So, from this, we can conclude that the answer is correct. Okay? Therefore, is the equation of the required circuit. So we have seen two problems from circles in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.